Hi guys, Matt from 123MyIT here. In this video we will show you an unboxing and first look at the LG Ultra Gear Gaming Monitor. The LG 27GL850-B is a 27 inch 1440p QHD gaming monitor with a 1 millisecond response time. It has a refresh rate of 144Hz and it's also G-Sync and FreeSync compatible by using Adaptive Sync. The 27GL850-B is a great buy at the moment and retails for around 350 USD and 550 Aussie at the time of this video. If you're interested, I will put a link in the description below. Other features include black stabilizer and HDR10 support. Let's take a look at what you get inside the box. First up inside the box, you have the base of the monitor stand. It has a black plastic cover with red highlights. Inside the LG Ultra Gear black box, you get a power plug. So I have an Australian New Zealand power plug, but if you're in the US, you would get a US power plug. The power supply is not built into the monitor and it comes as a separate power brick, much like you see with laptop designs. I tested the power draw with HDR effect turned on, which is the brightest setting, and the monitor uses about 26 watts of power. When I changed it to reader mode, it used 13 watts of power, and the worst part is when the monitor was totally turned off, it was still using 1 to 2 watt watts while not in use. Next in the box you have a cable tidy, a display port cable, USB 3.0 and a HDMI cable. Also in the box you have a driver CD, a quick start guide and warranty information. Next up is the arm that connects the monitor to the base. And the cable tidy just snaps on the back of that. One thing I don't like about this design is it actually pushes the stand a bit further out from the wall because of the cable tidy. To attach the stand, just plug it in the bottom and then tighten up the little screw. Taking the monitor out of the box, remembering that it's an IPS display, so black should look darker and colours will be brighter than a TN display. On the back you will see two HDMI and USB down ports, along with one display and USB up ports. And if you have a VESA stand, you can also attach your own. And while the stand is solid, there is some wobble, but it's not a deal breaker. You can adjust the height and the swivel, as well as put it in portrait mode. Here it is beside the Aorus KD25F, which is a TN panel. Can you make out the deeper blacks and brighter colours? Remembering that it's a nano IPS panel with a resolution of 2560 by 1440 and 350 nits of brightness. To start the OSD, there is a little joystick under the logo. The thing that I really like about it is it tells you the refresh rate straight away. Sweet, so it's running at 144Hz and you can see that Adaptive Sync is turned on. For best results in games, I set this mode to FPS and went into the Game Adjust menu and I turned Adaptive Sync off. The reason for this is when Adaptive Sync is turned on, the frame rate in PUBG drops, making it terrible to play. If you can't get Adaptive Sync to turn off, go into the NVIDIA control panel and take the tick out of Enable G-Sync. I'm assuming it'll be the same for the AMD graphics cards as well. Once you have that turned off, go down to Response Time and make sure it's set to Fast, not Faster. This is because Faster setting only works with a lot of errors and it looks bloody terrible. But don't take my word for it, try it out for yourself. Next up, to add a crosshair, go down to the crosshair menu and select the crosshair you want to use. I always use the red one, it works best for me. But the annoying thing with this monitor is when you turn it off and back on, the crosshair disappears. So you have to go in and turn it back on every time you want to use it. That's bloody annoying dude! Alright, go back in and check your display settings and make sure that the 27GL850 is set to 144Hz refresh rate. On the back of a monitor it has a USB hub, which I really like as it allows you to plug in extra devices on your desktop. 
I use a desktop mic, so when I turn my monitor off, it also turns the mic off, which I find really handy. Alright, let's fire up some PUBG and do some testing. So, with Adaptive Sync turned on, I was getting around 71 to 74 frames per second. And with it turned off, frames improved all the way up to 110 frames per second. So you can see why some BenQ monitors don't even include G-Sync or FreeSync as an option, as it just might not always be suitable. Guys, don't forget to check out my other videos such as how to arrange your iPhone icons the easy way, and do me a favour, hit the subscribe button and smash that bell icon.